hi guys and welcome to this other video so uh, on this video we are going to see uh, do some comparison on the 40 gate trial licenses so we are mainly focusing on this video on trial licenses regarding 40 gate uh, 7.2.0 and prior versions or earlier versions 40 gate 7.2.1 up to 7 7.2 7.4.7 and the 40 gate 7.6.x version so we will see the prerequisite for, for prerequisite for each of these three versions and also see the license limitations so let's jump directly to our gns3 environment so from here we are creating a new a new project so i will create a new project i will try to connect three uh, the three firewalls on my local network so that we get to connect to the to each of them to see what is available as information so as i'm deploying the the, the cloud so always uh, recommended best practice is to deploy these components on the gns3 vm so i'll select gns3 vm from here so i also need a switch uh, it will also run on the gns3 vm so so from here i have the three versions of the the, the, the license the three version of the, the the appliances that i need to check so i have a 40 gate that is actually on a 40 gate 7.0.10 which is prior to 7.2 we have here a 40 gate 7.2.11 so this one is uh after 7.2.0 then we have the 7.2 uh, 7.6.3 versions so you have to see the differences that we have about uh, on these three uh, appliances so i'll connect my switch then next i'll connect the 40 gate appliances so this one here for one this one here uh port one okay so what i need to do now is just power on this uh this uh, appliances so just right click and do start also right click here and do start right click and do start so remember that uh each 40 get appliance that you have imported or you have ob uh, uploaded here this appliances they need like two gig of ram to run so you should consider providing uh, more uh, ram to your gns3 virtual machine so that all these components as we explained last time in the next in the previous videos about nested virtualization so all these appliances as we selected them they are actually running under or we should say they are running on the gns3 vms so from from this server summary here you will see that this boss game is my my physical server on which gns3 software is installed and also workstation is vmware workstation is installed so we have now on the vmware workstation we have the gns3 vm on which all these appliances are now running so the gns3 is the 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 actual hypervisor that is running these appliances so let's check this first firewall uh, i'll just double click so from here it is it, it has started uh, serial number is provided so we can connect so as it is as we, we saw in the previous video each for to get appliance that is uploaded here it has a default login that is admin and there is no password so from here i'll just hit enter i'll be asked to provide a new new password and i confirm the password okay so i'm in the file on the uh, actually on the 40 gate so what i will try to do is to see what ip addresses uh, what ip address has this 40 gate taken so get the uh, system interface physical okay so from here i can see that on my network this device has taken ip 2.64 so i will do the same thing with the with the other appliances so from here I connect admin no password 
Okay, I'm in. So uh, get system interface physical. Okay, 265. Okay, I guess the other one is probably 266. So let me just connect. Okay, I'm in. So uh, get system interface uh, physical. Okay. 266 so we have 66 65 and 64 so now let's jump on to our uh, web browser 192.168.2.64 yeah okay 64 so let me connect so this is the interface of my of my uh, for to get appliance for to get 7.0.10 okay so let me connect so from here uh, this is just a message or a video on what's new on for to get 7.0 so I don't want to see this again <clears throat> so I can see that from here when I launch the, 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 the interface I can connect directly to my for to get appliance and from here I can check under licenses to see okay from here you can even see the the firmware that i'm running here is version 7.0.10 so from here i can go under systems then uh, 40 guard so under 40 guard here i can see the evaluation license that the trial license that i'm actually using so i can click here on 40 gate uh, vm license to see details regarding this license so from here i can see that okay this license is a, a evaluation license so if I need a, a full license, I need to buy one from Fortinet. So this evaluation license is limited for one vCPU and two gig of RAM. So if I'm running appliance or if I'm running some, some network stuff that requires more than two gig of RAM, this, uh, this Fortigate may not be, may not support the, the traffic. So let's jump into the next Fortigate, which is Fortigate 7.2.11. I think IP was 192.128.2.65. Okay, let me connect. Okay, so from here on the 7.2.11, you can see that from here I can go further. If I don't have uh, either a full license or an evaluation license, so if I have a full license, it means I, I, I buy a, I bought a, a full license from Microsoft, so I, from Fortinet, sorry. So I have the license. I can upload the license from here. So if I don't have a license, I have uh, an option here to get a, an evaluation license. So this evaluation, this license can only be used once per 40k account and has several limitations okay support low encryption one cpu two gig of ram maximum of three interfaces three firewalls and three roads for each 40 gate that is under a trial license for version 7.2.11 so from here you, you you notice that to for me to get the trial license, I'll need to provide my 40 cloud or my 40k account here. So remember the account that we use here to connect the other on the other video when we use this account to to download the, the images or the, the, the appliances. So it is the same account that we need to, to use here. So also what you need to do to, to check here, for example, is when you are connected on your 40 cloud account, under support, no, uh, under services and asset management you see that on that product list here you can see the list of items or the the, the 40 gate uh, appliances that you actually uh, manage so we have no one here so from here what i'm doing i'm going to do is to connect with my 40 40 card 40 care or 40 cloud account so once connected 
okay updating the license will cause the system to reboot do you want to continue i say yes okay so now that our appliance has uh, rebooted so we we provided the 40 cloud account so that uh, 40 net can provide us a trial license for our appliance so the appliance has rebooted after that process so now we can connect to check the information that we we got regarding the license so from here so we will go directly to systems and 40 guard so from here we will check the information regarding the license that we we receive from from uh from our 40 gate from our 40 from 40 net for this our appliance so once this is loading we can go under our 40 our 40 gate uh appliance and from our 40 from our 40 40 cloud so here in our 40 cloud we can see that actually under product leaks we have this this uh this license so this is the new device that uh, 40 cloud has or 40 net has uh, provided us this serial number with a trial license so now this is a device that we can manage on our 40 40 gate so from here we will check under 40 gate the the license information so we have a virtual machine evaluation license so from here we will click on 40 gate vm license so from here you see that okay this vm is using an evaluation license the license does not expire limitation of this evaluation vm include support for low encryption one cpu two gig of ram maximum of three interfaces three firewalls and three roads no support for 40 cloud so as it stated we have this limitation so we can check like this limitation regarding interfaces so from here what we can check is we go under network you see interfaces and you can see that from here exactly we have only three interfaces on which we can deploy uh, we can do any settings so this license is very limited so we also go here on systems and other settings what we can discover here is that we have uh we have a an https certificate that is actually available for this version i don't think we had this on the the 7.0.10 firewall so if i come here on the uh, settings so we have a http license that was a certificate that was set as safe safe sign certificate so this certificate is uh, uh, you are using a default built-in certificate which will not be able to verify your server domain name so your user will be you see a warning let encrypt can be used to generate a trusted certificate if you do not have one so the difference that i'm seeing from the 7.0.10 and the 7.2.11 is that here we have a certificate that we can download so this certificate will let us for example you prevent our users to get the the, the, the https error when they are connected through uh, https so this is a huge difference between this one and the other and the other 40 appliance also what we can discover here is that under 40 gat i think not not here but under uh, firmware and registration so yeah here under firmware and registration i can see that we also have access to 40 gate uh, updates so this appliance can go on the on has a connection with 40 uh, with 40 cloud 40 guard servers on the 40 guard servers so we can download uh, updates on this 40 gate appliance why on the 7.0 under uh, firmware uh, fabric okay it was already it was set as up to date and here on that 40 guard we could see that this appliance is unable to connect to 40 guard server so the limitation also here is that this 40 guard is not cannot access uh, 
it's a cannot access for to get servers to get updates so these are some huge uh, some difference that we have regarding these trial licenses so now let's connect to the third uh, to the third uh, firewall so this one is 7.6.3192.168.2.66 i guess so so from here i can connect Okay, so from here for the 7.6.3 uh, trial license, there is no trial license available. So I guess Fortinet is, uh, is, is considering that if you are coming to, to upload into 7.6, it means that you have already tried uh, 7.2, 7.4. So if you are coming to 7.6, you already have master this uh, master the, 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 all the functionalities and here you just need to provide a full full license to access the complete version of 7.6.3 so this complete this video for for now so what we've seen so far is that for the 7.2.1 version 7.2 or version prior to 7.2.0 you don't need any 40 40 cloud account your license is limited for 15 days uh the call you have complete functionality though one vcpu and two gig are the limitations no connection to 40 guard servers no http certificate no access to uh, to updates so license are not bound to a single uh, serial number and this is suitable if you want to deploy your infrastructure your 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 deployment if you are if you are doing deployment for multi uh, firewall uh, testing purpose so on the other side you have versions 7.2.1 up to 7.7.4.x so this to get a trial license you need to provide a 40 cloud account is required the licenses for this never expires so this license is bound to one serial number and the major limitations here is that you have one vcpu two gig of memory and this license is bound is limited for only three ip interfaces three firewall policies three routes so the advantages here is that the 40 the, the 40 gate is the 40 gate appliance is connected to 40 guard servers it means that you have access to you have access to uh, updates and you also have a HTTPS certificate that is available, letting you connect to your firewall through HTTPS secure uh, secure uh, method. And the trial license is bound to one forty cloud account. It means that once you have already uh, requested a forty a trial license for your forty forty gate appliance with your forty cloud account you cannot request any other trial license so that is the those are the limitations that you, you will have with 40 guard account we are 40 40 cloud account so and you also saw that for the version 7.6 there is no trial license available you only need here to have a full or a complete license that you've already bought from uh, fortinet so this completes this video so now you know how to choose which which license you need to use in your environment depending of how many firewalls you need to use on your test environment so guys let's meet in another video